It's Friday, October the 14th or something. Let's see what this is. Friday the 18th. Wow, well, there's a festival going outside. Your boy doesn't have his government issue ID. And it had to cross like three different sets of barricades that wasn't supposed to get to the gym I train at. So uh, here we are, train. Could be training our chest and shoulders today. I had to come today. I had to come all the way out here to Crowley to train because the last chest and shoulder session was absolutely incredible uh, forgive the audio again um i'm in this these circumstances and i don't feel like going back to get the mic so let's get to it remember guys a little bit past behind me and i want the load toward the back not in front of me it's gonna be right in line with my clavicle <sighs> next time but the shoulders totally of course what a great machine again I cannot talk enough about how much I like this thing I think my seats a little bit lower because I noticed I was tapping bottom when getting to depth but that's okay but what I love about this is since I'm a thick boy and the way the handles are set it's a little bit further back I'd have to have my head way out of the way if I was gonna try to shoulder press like that and the bar would probably end up hitting me in the face in the same way that like the old school guys used to love that behind the neck press it's because that bar is sitting back over those shoulders. And it's the same feeling here. That's where the load is. And it's um, quite fantastic. Last time we hit this machine, 120, 130, but we kept having plates sticking. And I remember exceeding the rep range and uh, going through with the rest pause set. So I'm gonna take my time on this. I'm gonna have this machine max out. And that'll set me up for progression with the gym pan. <laughs> That is, I was insane guys. That's absolutely ridiculous. Another uh, real good movement. I don't have a partner doing but I think I can handle it safely. Remember, elbows, hug in the tree. Don't dip them down. Stretch them out. You could feel that. You put that here, what happened? My chest got short, cool. I can feel that underneath. So let's feel it. We get some abdominal work here. A cool safety feature, well, I don't know if it's a safety feature, but one way to end this machine safely 
it's, it's both of the arms aren't interdependent. I'm sorry, they are interdependent. They're not independent. So they work in unison. So if I can shift over and tuck this one where I'm strongest and get this arm out, then I can let go of everything with one side, which is nice, as opposed to having each one pulling against me independently. You know, I can load up here. That stops it from pulling here. Get out, shift, release. Wish the light was a little better. Feels good. All right, here's our second fly. We flew from high to low. Now we're gonna fly in the mid range to slightly up. Same thing guys, hug the tree. Watch the elbow path. Oof. Going up to the next snack. Wanted to play that one safe. I don't know if that was one IR or IR or zero, but I just felt a little something. Uh, rather, I felt a lack of something, right? They started turning off. I had that ulnar nerve problem, all stems from that torn bicep. It's something I pretty much overcame. I just felt it kind of engage in there. This is the pec I tore, so I tore this pec, tore this bicep. So there's a little issues there, but uh, I just don't want to push too far into it, but that was heavy. Yeah, this light ain't the best, but you can see that chest is getting striated already, man. Already. Woo! Look at them little knots, boy. Look at them little eggs. Look at them little eggs. Oof. Used to be my worst pose, huh? Now it's one of my best. I'm gonna break them off real bad. A little pose down. Get it down? No. Choose a dip instead of a regular chest press. When we want a little bit of shoulder overlap, arm day will be session after next. We want a little tricep incorporation as well. So we want to we want to do a little upper body squat, as Mr. Mincer used to call it. Because we're training chest today, we're training shoulders today. We want a little bit of overlap for the triceps. And I think this is a great way to, uh, to do all those things. You know, it's a very stable way when you have a seat. There's a little minus 30 pounds in my fatigue state. It's going to be plenty. We talked a bit about uh, using different dip machines uh, and doing dips. You know, elbow position is relative to what you want to train, right? So instead of tucking, that will put a lot of stress on my front delt, and it'll also be really tricep open. So what I'm going to do is about midway. I'm going to be about here. I'm not going to be all the way out here for chest. I'm not going to be all the way in here for tricep. So I'm going to be about in the middle. And I'm going to get it. <clears throat>
cut it right there. Could have threw in a little bit more than the chest. But uh, again, just feeling a little something going on with that bicep inserts. It's just that whole insertion area. You want to be careful with it. And I'm not saying, I'm not having any like acute pain or anything like that. It's just there's a mental disconnect. And that's something I don't want when I'm really deep into a set, using really high effort, you know, and heavy loads. I don't want to have a disconnect. I want to be in full control of the situation at all times. One more little flex for y'all. So we're gonna go hit a set of biceps. That's all she wrote. So I was thinking, yeah, I used the uh, the Nautilus Preacher last time, but I wanted something cables, right? But I wanted something stable, right? Here we are. We got pulleys off of the ground that I can put handles on, and I could do seated bicep curls. So that's what I'm gonna do. Let's prioritize the bat on first. This shit heavy. So what I'm gonna do is stabilize myself. Yes. Yes. I don't even I don't even feel that arm, man. There's like a massive disconnect there. Oof. That's fantastic. most bro non-optimal shit you're gonna see me do I just want it I just want a little set to failure on the triceps I remember these handles I used to use them a lot back in the day this is a fatter variation but you guys all know the little V handle the little close grip tricep push down that's what we're gonna do I'm trying to get you a view on this shit Oh, see that thickness, boy. Ooh. Oh, 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 man. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. That was, that was absolutely disgusting, fam. It's happening, boys. Oh, 
arms feel big, man. Whew. So yeah, that was today's uh, chest and shoulder session. Absolutely love this workout. I mean, this is one of the ones I feel really good all the way through. I love each set. They feel so good, so stimulating, so exhausting. All at the same time, it just feels super productive. And there's something to be said about, you know, you're as good as you feel, is the old saying. And I know it's working really well when I'm enjoying it this much. And given that, that effort, can't enjoy legs the same way, you know? They destroy your soul. But this is, this is medicine. And little sets of biceps and a set of triceps at the end. Icing on the cake, man. I love seeing the body change, it's so rewarding. These are the short-term gratifications you get. And when you're prepping for a show, losing body fat, seeing what's, what's happened. But this is a little different, I mean, the food is higher. The food is much higher than it was the previous two preps this year. Even that rebound when I showed up and won that overall. This is different, man. We're bigger, we're thicker. We're bigger, we're thicker, and we're still really lean. I say really lean, but we're in a great spot. I'd take the shirt off, but that's a lot of work. <laughs> I don't feel like doing it. It's gonna be hard. But uh, yeah, I'll see you boys next time, and girls, to train legs. Train intense, get dense. Try this workout, it's amazing.